Hello. Hope you people are doing good. So this video is basically meant for people who are preparing for Cambridge. English as a first language, 0500. English as a first language and the people who are really wanted to improve their reading skills and writing skills and who are expecting good grades like A star, uh, uh, both in paper one and paper two. So if you look at uh, paper one and paper two, you need to do some uh, writing tasks, both implicit and explicit, to create your writing skills uh, by producing effective and quality writings, developing paragraphs with relevant information, context, target audience to engage. These are the basic uh, approaches. Let us see that where we can use that, uh, like, you know, quality writing. Uh, many a times my students asking me how I can improve my vocabulary. So the challenging task to improve the vocabulary is not like writing only one word. Uh, let me show you that. Uh, you might uh, in a reverse, but I'm going to share the screen. So this word, uh, we have many, many meanings, uh, many meanings in terms of the very close meanings and the synonyms. And uh, some of them are like, you know, antonyms, uh, which are related to the, uh, like, you know, opposite of the word. So improving the vocabulary is, a, is a not a easy task unless until you can practice regularly. Uh, this. Uh, this will help you to write your, uh, building your key skills like uh, e-reading skills by using the skimming, scanning, selecting information, uh, explicit meaning, implicit meaning. Uh, you can also use the demo to language, sensory language, recognizing the facts, opinions, and bias, these kind of elements also uh, improving the reading skills. In addition to that, so you can also use that key technical skills, which is going to help you to improve your vocabulary and word and word classes. So let us start with the uh, one word and how these words are going to help you to uh, understand, to avoid the monotonous using the same word many a times in your writings. Okay, here, uh, the word which you can see in the center is candid. You can pronounce can, did, candid. So the word have many meanings. Uh, many a times you might use this word, but for different purposes, which gives you different meaning contextually. Let me give you an example like this. Candid. The, maybe the person is speaks more words in his, uh, like you know, speech in his interview when he is speaking. Is a outspoken. We can talk about that. Uh, sometimes we can also consider open-hearted and sincere. Be honest, uh, frank enough to say something openly without having any kind of like, you know, hidden thing, straightforward to express uh, reality. These are the context, uh, these are the details you can consider the word candid and which have the several meanings like this. But you need to use this word instead of using these simple uh, routine kind of vocabulary and you can use that high frequency words and these are the things you can uh, use it in your writing skills. Coming to the opposite of that, the candid. We have many other words. Let me tell you, uh, the, the candid, the word, just know we discussed about that. The person is speaking more words in his interview or the speech. But whereas the opposite of that, lac laconic. Laconic is a word we are talking about that. Where the person is speaks almost a minimal or a few words not like outspoken uh, uh, how the person spoke are uh, they speaking a more number of words uh, that is what we call it as a candid but here the person is quite opposite to that is laconic the person he speaks very less number of words like quite reserved reticent restrained these are the uh, few antonyms we can see and we can also use for various purposes of writing in context only let me give you some examples and how we can use it, the word, uh, both synonym and antonym in these uh, examples. 
here you can see this one and uh, i'm just sharing a screen now and you can see this one the word candid the word candid you can uh, see here uh, we can also talk about that the candid the pronunciation i told you can did can did can did candid mostly we are giving this kind of the meaning for this one mostly uh, completely honest and straightforward there is no hidden agenda and the person also speaks more uh, more number of words to explain what is all about at all and uh, example students candidness overwhelmed his business colleagues who were not used to such honesty so you are talking about that comparing one person honesty with that uh, other team of members like a candidness you just come to the opposite of this word laconic and a person speech or a style of writing using very 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 few words so quite opposite to that now you take an example he raised both eyebrows with a laconic grin is a icon a laconic reply suggested a lack of interest in the topic so we are just talking about that the opposite of these two words we just make use of writing words wherever it is necessary for your pieces of writing for igcsc english is the first language 0 5 0 and 0 so 0 5 0 o english is the first language uh, definitely you have to focus implicit and explicit meanings to write your opinions using your uh, what are the understanding level to engage the audience for various pieces of writings both extended response and the direct writing and composition so these sort of things you need to practice and improve your vocabulary uh, this is the first word for this uh, today's video and the next video we will see some more videos uh, about uh, uh, like you know vocabulary part and other pieces of writing for your uh, english as a first language cambridge o5 double o okay the, uh, you, i'm just giving a task you can write number of word uh, number of words you can use it each word used for writing meaningful sentence in a comment box just use that one and uh, try to avoid uh, like you know the grammatical mistakes and you please make sentence sensible and meaningful let me uh, expect you to write uh, let me correct your uh, Uh, uh like you know examples and uh, let me see your comments and the examples in the comment box and uh, let us see in the next video see you